when we start this section on probability, we can ask the question, why is probability important? Well, we are all faced with decision making in our daily lives, be it in our personal life or in our work environment. And often these decisions need to be made in the face of uncertainty. So probability is a powerful tool to aid us in making important decisions. If we have a sound understanding of probability and apply the rules of probability consistently, it helps us to avoid biases in our decision-making process. So I would like to next introduce you to a well-known probability quiz to illustrate that a sound knowledge of probability can help us make decisions when the answer is not very obvious to start out with. Now this quiz is called the Monty Hall problem and it's based on an American television game show Let's Make a Deal that was named after its original host Monty Hall. What this game is all about is that the host will present the contestant with three doors. Behind one of those three closed doors there, there's a big prize, a car, and behind the other two doors there are two goats. So the cost contestant must then choose one of these three doors. Let's say that the contestant chooses the first door. Then the host that knows behind which door the car is, is hidden will then show what is behind one of the two remaining doors and he will always choose the door um, where the goat is hidden. So if you've chosen the first door then the host will open the door where the goat is hidden. So in this case let's say it was the third door. So then the host will ask the contestant do you wish to remain with your original choice or do you wish to switch to, to door two? So that is the question, to switch or not to switch. Okay, so I encourage you now to pause this video and to play with this puzzle and decide for yourself, do you think it is best to remain with your original choice? Or do you think it's best to switch? Or do you think it doesn't make a difference at all? Okay, so I think if you've given it this uh, problem some thought, let's just work through it together. If you look at this first scenario here on the slide, suppose you chose a door and behind that door a goat is hidden, but you don't know that. So the host will then show you the second door and will ask you whether you prefer to remain with your original choice or to switch. Or if you look at the second scenario, you choose door one, behind that door there's a goat, so the host will show you what is behind the third door, the goat, and the question is, do you want to remain with door one or do you want to switch to door two? And then the last scenario, you choose door one, and that's the correct choice, but you do not know that. The host can either show you the goat behind door two or the goat behind door three. And you must decide whether you want to switch or whether you want to remain with your original choice. So let's say the host shows you the goat behind door two. So what we have here is we can either switch or we can decide not to switch. So if you look at the first scenario, if you switch, you will win the car. If you remain with your original choice, if you do not switch, you get the goat. The second option here, if you switch, you win the car. If you remain with your original choice, you do not get the car. And then the last one here, if you um, remain with your original choice, then you get the car. And if you switch, you get the goat. So, the probability to get the car if you switch is 2 out of 3, so it's 2 thirds. The probability to win the car if you stick to your original choice is 1 out of 3. There are of course different ways to um, 
explain the answer to this quiz. Um, for example, what is the probability to win if you stick with your original choice? Well, the probability to win the car if you stick with your original choice is you've got a chance of 1 over 3 to select the correct um, door. If you um, switch, then if you look here at the, the first and the second um, scenarios, suppose your first choice was wrong, the host will show you the second goat. So if you switch, you get the car. If your first choice was a goat, the host will show you the second goat. If you switch, you will win the car. So if your first choice was wrong, like for both of these situations, then to switch will always give you the prize of the car. So the probability to win the car if you switch is the same as the probability that your first choice was wrong. And that probability is 2 out of 3. Another fun example is suppose I have three identical cards. They are, are identical in size and shape but different in color. So one card is green on both sides, one card is red on both sides, and one card is red on the one side and green on the other side. Suppose now that I hide these three cards behind my back and I choose one of them randomly and I show you one side of this chosen card and you observe that this side is green. The question now is what is the probability that the other side of this card is also green? Again I encourage you to pause this video and to see whether you can find an answer to this quiz. Okay so what was your answer to this one? Um, many people give an answer of 50%, 1 out of 2. Um, the correct answer however is 2 thirds. And let's just see how this works. So I've got my three cards here. The one card is red on the one side and red on the other side as well. Then I've got a card that is green on both sides. So I give it green one for side one, green two for side two. And then I've got a card that is green on the one side and red on the other side. So if we observe um, a green side, then it could be that we are observing the side one of the green card. So then on the other side will be side two of the green card. Or it could be that we have side two of the green card. So on the other side will be side one of the green card. Or it can be that you see the green side of the mixed card. So if you observe a green side, there are actually three possibilities where your one side is green, so the probability then that the other side will be green as well will be two out of the three possibilities.